yung mga movies na I really put into the fashion side is yeah. mga Barbie. Barbie Ooh! show. Yeah. Mga Barbie movies. It's time to pass the mic and hear your stories. It's Yanni Maya here and I'm welcoming you guys to this new segment here on my YouTube channel called Pass the Mic because I wanted to hear other people's experiences as well. So to start us off, actually, I invited one of my friends who I am truly proud of. I saw her growth in high school and on social media. Joining us is a BA fashion design and merchandising graduate from De La Salle College of St. Benilde. So let's get to know more about her creative process on the show. We have my friend, Anna Sadi, with us. Hello! Hi! Hello to Yanni's viewers, subscribers. <laughs> yes! We thank you again for yes. hopping on on the show and being my first episode. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored to be the first for this segment. Speaking of fashion design, Paano ka ba nag-start and how did you get into fashion design as a course? I just knew that I wanted to take up fashion. I don't really remember like what was the that turning point in my life na OMG fashion is something I want. It's just something natural that happened to me and you know, fashion is something that I really want to pursue and growing up like high school, I wasn't even like looking up at any other courses. Yun nga, I was more set on talaga on fashion design and that's it. That's just I just went for it. <laughs> so matagal mo na pala to pinapangarap. It's always been your goal to get in fashion design. Yeah, before entering college, stereotypical mindset pa yung up yung iniisip ko about fashion like it's glamorous and etc etc but in college that's where my understanding of fashion and the industry is more in depth that's good at yeah. least you really went into something na ikaw mismo happy ka you love what you're doing and hindi lang siya course for you parang naging passion na talaga siya meron ba nag motivate sa to start like fashion design or it was something talaga na you know you knew for yourself I would say when we were in high school, booming na talaga yung social media, Tumblr, Instagram. So in high school, I remember I had a Tumblr account, <laughs> and like, alam mo yung puro fashion lang din talaga yung pinafollow ko na feed. So I guess that's one factor then that helped me to really pursue fashion in a way. Your family wala nag fashion then sa inyo? Wal- wala. I would say I come from a very artsy family because my parents are both architects. My sister graduated from MMA, Multimedia Arts. And then my elder sister, she's a culinary graduate. So, yeah. Oh my gosh! Ganun pa na. So, <laughs> Ganun ka diverse yung family mo. Yes. That's so exciting, ah, na all of you are in different, medyo sobrang different yung fields ninyo. Yeah. When you became a freshie sa FD, Kinakabahan ka ba? Excited ka ba? What was your first impression sa course? I was excited actually. But then, upon enrolling for Benil, binigay na kasi sa amin yung flowchart. Like the list of like the how, which courses we would take for each year. And hindi kami agad na introduce sa majors talaga namin. We were, for like the first half of our course it's more on general subjects and design foundation so we didn't really get the taste of what our majors would be like so at first it was hindi siya ganun ka encouraging in a way as if i was ah, yeah. entering college para excited na ako mag majors and then like magbigla pagpasok like wala pa pala oh, oh geez. but like thankfully for like the first half of college it was a fun experience more on just really building up your character as designers and as creative people. Alam naman natin when we have a course in, I don't know, with you guys in um, La Salle, mayroon ba kayong parang stereotypes that you attach to your your course? Like for example, sa amin, Broadcom, ma- lahat kami maingay, pero hindi naman talaga lahat kami maingay. Pero ano yung mga, <laughs> ano yung mga common stereotypes ng mga FD students na hindi naman super applicable or siguro mm. it can be on the mark na rin. Pwede naman din. Siguro, una is yung ma-arte lahat. 
Like, ah. parang lahat kikay-kikay lang sa fashion. Which is, like, yes, karamihan sa amin, maarte, kikay. Pero, it's not something that I would say, something that should not be a stereotype for yeah. fashion majors. Kasi, you know, fashion, parang, hindi lang siya glam, ganun. Yeah. Parang, madami din talagang seryoso and, and passionate about fashion. And then, uh, that's one thing I want everyone to know na, in fashion, there's also this stigma na parang it's a competitive yeah. industry, which is true naman. Pero in college, that's the perfect opportunity for you to gain connections, friendships. Don't think of it as competition because it's your perfect opportunity nga to build connections because once you enter into the industry, that's when things get competitive. And so, syempre, you would need support system behind you and someone who would understand who you are as designers, as individual, stuff like that. Pero I saw that you created, you, parang iba din yung journey mo sa thesis mo. Yeah. Like on your Instagram stories, may mga ups and downs ka. Um, how was your thesis conducted? Yung thesis ko, I had a setback with it. I had to, yung first thesis ko, I had to drop it because oh. I wasn't happy with it. Like, it wasn't so the collection that our professors wanted me to do was mm. something that I wasn't in line with as a designer. Mm-hmm. wasn't to, to who I am. Napag-isipan ko na, okay, I need to step down a bit and just reflect on what I really want to showcase as my graduating collection. And then, last year, that's when I had to take up thesis again. Yung quarantine. Mm-hmm. Kasi that's when I had a lot of time to myself to really understand who I am as an individual. Yun din nag-help sa akin to come up with what is my thesis right now. You were able to really give justice to what you wanted to mm-hmm. bring out for your graduating thesis. Can you give an, ano, a description on your thesis? What was the... Siguro the... Oh my gosh, na wala din ako sa... <laughs> what was the inspiration? Na, ayun, in your thesis. Ah, uh-uh. okay. So my collection, it's called Pandemonium of the Self. So Pandemonium wow. means uproar, chaos. So mm-hmm. it's a reflection of how I deal with anxiety. Like I'm someone with uh, experience anxiety, and you know when I get overwhelmed, dun yung parang patong-patong na yung ideas ko, patong-patong na yung feelings, yung emotions, sa parang to the point na it gets tangled up. So, in my collection, I highlighted parang mga loops, like continuous lines tangled and just to represent that idea with the help of my collection, like fashion is a way for me to undo the knots in those tangles. Na. So, yun. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Ang ganda That's naman! Why... Thank you! I saw before you parang mga snippets of you posting about it. And yeah. I can totally see like the meaning um, of what you wanna uh, bring across with your collection. A lot of people who asked on Instagram are interested in getting into fashion design. What are the skills that they need for the course? So drawing, they don't really need to be perfect at it. They'll learn about it. Pero may iba pa bang skills na kailangan or can they learn it na when they're freshmen? Dapat magaling sa math. Hindi nga! Bakit like, math? Yeah, hindi, hindi naman yung mga hard math. Like, mga basic lang na addition, subtraction, okay. multiplication. Ganyan, mga like magaling sa numbers because mm-hmm. in fashion, we had this subject called pattern drafting. So, mm-hmm. ano siya? Parang siyang blueprint ng Ooh. garment. That's where yung body measurements come in. And doon kailangan as precise as possible para mako, makuha yung perfect fit for the garment. So, yun, math, I would Gosh! say. Oh, okay. guys! Okay! So, at least for the people who are watching, you can prepare if you want to mm. go to fashion design. Math is something that you yeah. can, you know, kind of work harder on or sure. hard on. Sa Paris, we were taught to create garments that would use or take up waste as little as possible. We were required to make a big piece of fabric na parang yeah. dapat onti lang yung puputulan namin out of it. Yun yung challenge. And dun ko din na-realize na, oh my gosh, yeah, fashion is a wasteful like, industry. Has, yeah, industry. It's one thing na 
I learned from the Paris workshop to really consider and design with you know that's something that's sustainable. Oy, ang ganda nun kasi now I see a lot of people talking about it on social media. For fashion, consume the things that kaya mo nang i-consume, wag mag-buy ng masyado as a consumer mm-hmm. and to really think about what you buy and from where. So, meron din pala like there's also that kind of consciousness sa fashion world na it's really trying to lessen the waste that it brings out. Yes. Can I just also share, there was this summit for business of fashion nga, parang na-mention nila, the fashion industry has only 8 or 10 years to catch up in sustainability. With fashion, it's like the second most polluting industry. It's time for not just the consumers to be conscious about where they buy stuff, how they get rid of clothes that they don't wear anymore, but yeah. also an important factor na manggaling din mismo sa designers, sa mga companies to consider, okay, how do I benefit? So, more more efforts in sustainability, yeah. um, creating a better environment, at kaya ang dami na ding, ano designers ngayon that they use yung mga upcycled materials. Oh, yeah, mga recycled materials. Ano ba yung fashion for you? Is it like an outlet for your creative process? How does your life manifest in fashion and how do you define it personally? Ganda ng katanong. I love it. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, fashion for me, it's an art. It's a platform for us to express our personalities. Kasi syempre, how we dress up that's fashion. It's also an impression for others or that type of person. Ganun, ganun. So, parang siyang um, a way for you to show yourself in a different perspective or a different yes. medium. That's right. Like a medium. Siyempre, so art, diba? There's like a lot of different types of art movements. Like, mayroon pang photography it's yeah. and stuff like that. And you know, fashion is just one thing for us designers to put ourselves out there for people to know who we are. Oh, ang ganda nun. Kasi, like here in Pasta, Mike, we, we like to do storytelling. Ito naman yung medium ko for expressing, you know, stories, talking yes. about it. So, that's your way of also giving like a different experience to the people, to the viewers. Here in the Philippines, how do you think the fashion design industry is going? Do you see any like developments? How does it compare to different countries? Yung sa fashion industry of the Philippines, I would say it's not as out there in mm. globally, but seeing it now, I feel like mas nag boosting up, you know. Yeah, it's going up and I don't know if you know like see Carl Jan Cruz, Hamu, Vanya Romo. Those are like some of the Filipino designers that I actually look up to. For me, sila yung nag-help mag-boost ng fashion industry sa Philippines. And hopefully, when the Philippines then would see fashion not just as like a celebrity thing or like kikai kikai thing, I hope that would also help to boost up the fashion industry globally. Aside from like looking for a job, do you also want to create your own brand or you want to be your own, you know, fashion designer and design like mga celebrities like Fern or si Michael Cinco? Yeah, before entering college or like, or like while I was in college, I actually did want to create my own fashion line or like mm-hmm. be a creative designer and stuff like that. Very but growing up in the course, I realized that maybe design is not my forte, but I know that fashion is what I want to continue my career. So, ito, may mga questions here from IG. First, are connections really necessary for FDM students? Yes. Like connections, I would say since yun nga, it's a competitive industry. I would say connections do help a lot for people to really boost their social media nila, I would say. Mm. But then also at the same time, don't rely on connections. Build up your portfolio, your designs, and that would help the connections aspect because they would see na, okay, you're a determined person, you're building yeah. up your portfolio, you're serious about being a creative, a designer. So. I would say that it comes hand in hand with being a designer and having connections. So when you have connections, usually that's where you get your client mm. connection. There's also word of mouth advertising, the a starting designer. Sin yung nakatulong sa atin to build up the brand or like your personal brand na from people we know and then the people we know that they know. Parang ganon. That's where it branches out to different 
people. Ito, do you have science subjects? Somehow, yes, we have because we also have this subject called fabric design. So, we understand yung technicalities ng fibers, ng fabrics, okay, kung saan ba. Meron din, nagluluto din kami ng tela. <laughs> nagluluto kami ng tela, nag the dye, parang ganon. Ah, so, okay. So, parang chemistry? Uh, yeah, parang chemistry. So, we would experiment on burning the fabric, dyeing the fabric, bleaching the fabric, stuff like that. It's really fun. Ito, um, I think this is one of the more serious questions on Instagram. Do you get looked down on due to your unique course choice? For me, in Broadcom, minsan may mga taong Di ba nagsasalita lang kayo? Tapos parang ako, uh, <laughs> Teka lang sis ha, dami mong <laughs> takes ha, parang ganun. Do you have that kind, yung mga ganong um, anecdotes or like people telling you um, siguro something that doesn't really encompass the whole experience? Fashion parang? Yeah, people oh, outside. Oh, fashion, di ba parang bihis-bihis lang naman yan? Mm-hmm. Ganun, parang damit lang naman yan. And like, It's not. It's very. It's a very tedious course. It's very output based, and yeah, yun, yeah. Na experience ko din naman yung mga ganong tao na that would look down on my course choice. I think all of the courses then have like this experience. Mm-hmm. Di talaga na intindihan yung full picture. The last question sa IG stories is, what are the challenges that young designers have to overcome? Pressure na kado. Miss Universe na pala. Oh my. Okay. I would say is putting yourself out there. Siyempre, as if people want to release their own brands in the future, I would say make use of social media right now. That would be your best friend because in our age right now, it's really a time for media. I would suggest you create your online portfolio on Instagram, wherever you feel like is best for you. Putting yourself out there and Just making a name for yourself would be a challenge, I would say, for creati- young creative. Yeah, exactly, guys. So, madami namang medium for where you are interested in putting yourself out there. So, Anna, what are your words of wisdom for oh, the okay. people who are wanting to get into FD, who want to experience what you do? What are your tips, siguro? For anyone who wants to take up fashion design, I would say to just truly enjoy it. You know, mm. di naman may iwasan na may mga challenges, hardship. It's all on how you approach it with your mindset, with your determination, and mag enjoy naman kayo in fashion. Yes! Ang ganda! Thank you. Sa'yo na, Miss Universe! <laughs> Do you have shoutouts, people you wanna greet, um, oh. people you wanna thank, or whatever? And plug! Plug yourself! Tell oh, the people OMG. where they can reach you! Yes. Thank you again for this opportunity. I'm really thankful na I'm the first for this segment. And to my blockmates, to my fashion design sisters, Hello. And for social media, I have my Instagram, which is at Anna Sadi with an E. And for I also have an online portfolio on Instagram, which is at Design by Sadi. That's all. Yeah, so thank you again, Anna, for spending your um, afternoon here with us. And we wish you all the best. Everyone here is rooting for you. Um, the people who are watching are also rooting for you. So thank you again and take care. Thank you so much. But before we leave, I know your outfit is so great. Can you like um, show it Show it to the world? Show it to the world. Wait long. I'm just wearing... Yes, that's me. Yes! Yes! Ang ganda! It's ano lang, shirt from Monkey and shorts from, I think, H&M. Matagal na siya. So, mm-hmm. yun. 